Hello, this is Wiley from Learn to Barbecue. So we start with the question, what is Santa Maria style barbecue? Well, I'll tell you what it is not and is always confused with, and that is Argentinian barbecue or asado. The physical grills are similar, but the barbecue that comes off these grills is very different. To learn more about Argentinian barbecue, you will have to wait for my next video. When we answer that question, what is Argentinian asado? Let's start with where is Santa Maria Valley? It is positioned in a valley by the Pacific Coast Line that is 150 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles and about 65 miles northwest of Santa Barbara. The city is notable for its wine industry and Santa Maria style barbecue. Sunset Magazine called Santa Maria the West Best Barbecue Town. So what is so special about Santa Maria? First, the weather is perfect for year-round growing of grass. The average highs in July are 74 degrees and the lows 54 degrees. In January, the average highs are 66 degrees and the lows 39 degrees. The last time they had snow was 1945. With ideal weather and location, in the 1800s, the land was divided into large cattle ranches, the outlines of which still define roads and town boundaries today. Santa Maria style barbecue is thought to have evolved naturally from a Spanish style feast thrown by ranchers for their vaqueros or cowboys following big cattle roundups. They barbecued meat over pits filled with hot coals of local red oak. In 1931, the Santa Maria Club started a stag barbecue, which was held on the second Wednesday of every month with up to 700 patrons attending each event. Over the years, the legend of Santa Maria style barbecue grew, turning the local treasure into a major attraction. In those early days, the flavored cut was top block sirloin. Then as today, the meat was rolled into a mixture of salt, pepper, and garlic before being barbecued over red oak coals, which contribute a smoky, hearty flavor. In the 1950s, a local butcher named Bob Schultz perfected the tri-tip a triangular bottom sirloin cut that quickly joined the top block sirloin as a staple of Santa Maria style barbecue. Before that, the tri-tip was actually used to make hamburger. So what is a Santa Maria style barbecue grill? It's a grill that has a large pit area that's primary fuel is either wood or lump charcoal with wood. It also has a grate that can be raised or lowered depending on how much heat you want to apply to the food. The other way the pitmaster can control temperature is just by using a shovel or rake to move the coals around. The grill I have also has a rotisserie accessory that is connected to the grate, allowing you to move the food on the rotisserie up and down, giving you a great control over the cook. Now my shameless promotion for you to subscribe. In the next week, I'll be posting my rotisserie turkey just in time for Thanksgiving. That will be followed with my tri-tip seared in duck fat video. Both will be cooked on the Rectech Wildside Grill. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Also, we really appreciate your watching.